Hello parents, I want to welcome, this week, uh, welcome you to this week's uh, video update. It is April 29th. We have been closed for just a little over six weeks and going to this virtual format. Um, quite a change from the normal. Wanted to let you know, uh, you know, if you watched the governor's um, press conference the other day, he's slowly trying to open up aspects of the economy. For us as a school district, it really didn't change anything. They have not opened up our facilities at this time yet. Um, that being said, I think that makes it a little more difficult for us to expect uh, any kind of normal graduation by May 22nd. Uh, may get a little more loosening between now and then, but I think a, a graduation in more of its traditional sense is going to be tough to have. Because of that, we are pushing a date out there of J June 27th is a date for graduation and figuring we're going to be able to do a more traditional format at that time. Uh, we may have to limit the number of people that can attend, but I think we can give our kids the kind of graduation they would expect and I think they deserve. Also on that 27th, that would be in the morning, and then that night we're looking at doing some resemblance of a prom for our seniors, and um, how much of a prom is going to be dependent upon the um, social distancing of the time, but we will have some format of a prom for them on that night. We're working on those, those plans as well. You know, if anything changes between now and then, of course, we'll update you as, as that happens. Also, I want to let you know a couple things that um, for returning items as we're getting here close to the end of the year, uh, library books, any other books, any items that may need to be returned. We're gonna, next week on Monday, we'll have bins out in front of each campus, big trash can bins say book return. You can drop those off at your convenience there and we'll get those checked in for the kids. Also, you may have medications at school that you need to pick up. Uh, the school's gonna be reaching out to everybody that they have medication for to set up a time where you can come up and pick that up and sign for that medication to take care of that. Uh, as far as work goes, we're winding, you know, winding down and getting the last batches of work out to uh, get ready to finish up for the year. Teachers are sending out to teachers and reaching out to you parents for what it is that they need by the end of the year. And so we can get that finished up and get those closed out. And we're kind of getting out in closeout mode for the remainder of the year and make sure we get everything so everybody gets credit and can move on to the next grade and get course credit. Uh, also, I want to let you know, food service is still going strong. We served 3,200 meals today, and um, we've served well over 60,000 meals since this began. We're also looking at maybe being able to extend this into June, uh, the delivery part, just because normally in June, we have a lot of kids here at summer school and up for different summer camps and things like that, and so they're able to grab their meal before they leave. That's not gonna happen. We've moved summer school into July, so we're probably gonna continue the delivery into June. Um, that hadn't been completely finalized, but that looks like a very a very big likelihood, and I know that should help some of you who are still working and things of that nature. Um, other than that, guys, we don't have a lot more. Uh, appreciate everybody's help. It is teacher appreciation next week, and right now the teacher appreciation group just got widened because we got a whole lot of parents involved in that. So we want to let you know we really appreciate you, and as your kids as they're making that teacher appreciation gift, they need to give it to you. So. Uh, Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for all their help. And um, let's keep working hard and we'll get past this. Have a great week.